All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we have another video. We are going to talk about the red hot Miami Heat. I absolutely love this team. They're so fun to watch. Kyle Lowry, the greatest Raptor of all time, dropped a little triple dub before him last night. The Heat are seven and two, and they are they eight and two. No, they're seven and two. They're still seven and two. They're very good. And uh, welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new here, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button, post NBA content every single day. Um, I believe we are 80 subscribers away from 9,000 subs, trying to hit 9,000 subs by the end of the month. So if you guys are new here, be sure to hit that button. I do want to give a quick, um, I do quick apology because I am still very sick. I've been sick since Tuesday. It sucks. I, it sucks. So I apologize. Uh, but yeah, the Miami Heat, man, it's been a great season for them. Absolutely great season for them. They got a great win against the Utah Jazz. And um, I can't remember where I saw this on Twitter, but I saw this on Twitter a couple of days ago. I thought it was so funny. It was like, it was, this isn't the exact wording. It was like funny wording where it was like the Jazz in the regular season, if you beat them, it's like, oh, wow, like nice work. Like the Jazz are very hard to beat. If you beat them in the playoffs, it's like, yeah, it's the Utah Jazz, man. Like, they're not going to beat you. So, it's funny, but the Utah Jazz are a very, very talented basketball team. And a win against them, even if it's at home, even if the other team, even if the Jazz are a little shorthanded or whatever the situation would be on a night-to-night -night basis, if you beat the Utah Jazz in a season at this moment, you are sitting good. Like, you're probably a very talented basketball team, or at the very least, you should be maybe not excited but I mean like you should be pleased <laughs> with beating Utah in any way shape or form so last night Miami they shot the ball Let, we, let's just bring up the actual statistics here uh Miami shot like lights out like it was a very very fun high scoring high paced basketball game 118 to 115 Miami's way Utah led by Donovan Mitchell Donovan Mitchell had 37 points uh, but Utah dropped 37 in the fourth quarter compared to Miami's 31. The whole game, it was go, 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 go. Miami shot 60.3% from the field and 524 from downtown. So if your team is shooting 60-plus from the field, 50-plus from downtown, and you only have under 15 turnovers, you're going to win the game. Usually, usually you're going to win the game. If you are not, if you, if that turnover mark isn't above like 15, if it's not above 20 and you're shooting 60% from the field, unless your defense is horrible that night, you are probably going to win that game. And that's what they saw last night. So Miami, they were a little sloppy at times. They had 14 turnovers. I think if they had any more, honestly, if they had 15 Utah probably wins that game. Utah takes advantage of points off turnovers. They take advantage of mistakes, as all good teams do. But Utah only had six turnovers last night. They were still shooting the ball pretty well. Like, Utah shot 33.3 from downtown, 15 to 45, which is pretty solid. Um, not compared to the Miami Heat. They, they shot 52% from the field. So it was like a good game by Utah. So I think if Miami just like was a little bit more sloppy, if they had one more turnover, I honestly think Utah would have capitalized and won the basketball game. But let's talk about the, the player by player. We talked about Kyle Lowry, 20 points, 12 rebounds, 10 assists, 10 of 11 from the field, 3 of 5 from downtown. Dude, Kyle Lowry, I mean, every team he plays against right now, like whatever fan base he plays on a night-to-night -night basis, that team is like... Man, like, you are so lucky to have Kyle Lowry. Like, you are so lucky to have... We've seen it every game this year. No matter what team the Miami Heat beat, every opposing team is like, wow, like, they actually have a really good squad. Kyle Lowry really completes that squad. For months on months, years on years, we've been thinking, like, what is Miami going to do with their roster? Like, what are they going to do? They need somebody else. And what do they do? They went out, they got somebody else, and they got a great player championship proven veteran Kyle Lowry and if he's gonna go triple double ever in any game like you are set up so well to win 
Next up, Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler and Tyler Hero, they outscored Kyle Lowry. You, you might even be able to make an argument that they were the best players on the court. Kyle Lowry, or sorry, Jimmy Butler and Tyler Hero, not only because they're being set up by Kyle Lowry, a lot of easier, more open looks, they're just playing really good basketball right now. Specifically, Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero tonight, 34 minutes off the bench, 6 of 8 from downtown, 11 to 18 from the field. He dropped 29 points, 27 points for Jimmy Butler on 6 assists, 11 to 15 from the field on 0 threes, and only 5 of 6 from the free throw line. So Jimmy Butler had a phenomenal game last night as well. Like, you just look at this team top to bottom, they're so talented. Even on nights where you have Duncan Robinson go like 1 of 5 from downtown, score 3 points, it's just fine. They still found a way to to win the basketball game with P.J. Tucker scoring 6 and obviously uh, Duncan Robinson scoring 3. So you can have more positional or more situational guys out there like P.J. Tucker. He's out there for defense. You can have P.J. Tucker score six points every night and be fine. You can have Duncan Robinson score less than 10 points most nights if Tyler Hero is going to pick up that slack off the bench and still win the game. So they're in a very good situation right now where they have a lot of useful depth. Bam Adebayo, 17 points, six rebounds, six assists. He continues his strong start to the season. And then you look at the bench and it just gets even, even better. Dwayne Dedman veteran experienced player statistically he might he's not going to give you something every single night now some games he'll give you a double double some games he'll give you eight and six last night three points one rebound you look at that and you're like the way dead there's not much gas left in his tank you watch the game and you're like there's plenty of gas left in Dwayne Deadman's tank uh Morris four points Mark nine points so this bench is they're just talented like, th this is just a very talented basketball team, and their record shows it, 7-2. and two. They are, I predicted them, second seed in the East at the start of the season for a reason. Um, they're just really talented. They're well-coached. They have all these veteran players who know how to win these types of games where it's like, you're at home against a better team, maybe not a better team. You're at, you're at home against a team that is just as good as you, maybe a little bit better, maybe you're a little bit better. Who really knows? you should win these games. You need to win these games. If you actually want to win the championship, you need to win these basketball games. As hard as it may sound to beat the Utah Jazz, these are the games you need to win. And that's exactly what the Miami Heat have been doing this season. So the more I watch this team, the more they mesh all of their veterans, the guys who just know how to win on a night-to-night -night basis, the more I watch this team, the more it makes sense that they are going to have a very deep playoff run, probably to the conference finals at least. So that's it for today, guys. Hit the like button, hit that sub button. Let's try and aim for 50 likes on today's Miami Heat video. If you want more Heat videos, go ahead, drop a comment down below. But most importantly, hit the sub button as we're about 80 away from 9,000. So thank you guys for watching to this point in the video. I'll see you guys later.